Good evening mga kasloy, here are today's hottest stories, Thursday, May 2 in Cebu Daily Newscast. For our main story, ordinary passengers who rely on commuting on a daily basis will face a much greater burden on their wallets as jeepney drivers will demand higher minimum fares, potentially increasing by up to 25 pesos if the Public Utility Vehicle Modernization or PUVM program is fully implemented. Gregory Perez, head of the Pinagkaisan Samahan ng Super at Operator Nationwide or Piston in Cebu, explained that the demand for higher fares was due to the pressure on drivers to repay loans taken for the purchase of modernized jeepneys. Perez further explained that due to the higher installment payments for the modernized jeeps, drivers would have no other choice but to increase their minimum fare up to 40 pesos. Earlier, the Department of Transportation under Secretary for Planning and Project Development, Timothy John Bata, stated that no fare hike should occur without undergoing the process of the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board or LTFRB. Meanwhile, the Cebu-based ARQ Sports had asked the Games and Amusements Board or GAB to give a thorough review of the controversial first-round knockout win of Lawrence Dumam against Ramel Makado Jr. for the World Boxing Organization Oriental Flyweight title. The said matchup was the main event of Encuentro 13 Boxing held on Wednesday evening, May 1 at the Mandawi City Sports Complex. ARQ Sports promoter and manager Jason Arquisola officially submitted a letter of complaint to JAB a day after and about. It was addressed to GAB chairman Richard S. Clarin. In the letter, Arquisola cited a huge blunder by the timekeeper at ringside who failed to sound the bell after the mandatory three-minute mark of each round that resulted in the knockout defeat of ARQ Boxing Stables, Ramel Macado Jr. In other news, more than 1 peso a kilogram or nearly 13 pesos per 11 kilogram cylinder has been rolled back by oil companies from the price of cooking gas effective May 1, 2024. This was after they reduced pump prices of fuel on Tuesday. Petron Corporation implemented a cut of 1 pesos and 15 centavos per kilogram or 12 pesos and 65 centavos per 11 kilogram cylinder in its liquefied petroleum gas or LPG products effective at 12.01 a.m. Wednesday. This reflects the international contact price of LPG for the month of May, Petron said. Solane also slashed its LPG prices by 1 peso and 9 centavos per kilogram or 11 pesos and 99 centavos per 11 kilogram cylinder at 6 a.m. while Clean Fuel reduced its auto LPG price by 75 centavos per liter at 4.01 p.m. Finally, in entertainment, a negosyante nga si Cedric Lee, model nga si Denise Cornejo, ug duha pa ka mga kauban, gipahamtangan sa Tanging Regional Trial Court o 40 katuig nga pagkapriso kabahin kini sa criminal case nga gipahal sa actor host nga si Wong Navarro ni Adtong 2014. Nakita sa tagig RTC nga guilty sa serious illegal detention sila si Lee Cornejo o ilang mga kauban nga si Ferdinand Guerrero o Simeon Palmaraz. Ang serious illegal detention o sa kanan bailable offense tiin sila gisilutan o reklasyon perpetua. Imanduan o sa sila nga mubayar o total nga 300,000 pesos nga civil indemnity o moral o exemplary damages. Nefile si Navarro sa kaso batok nila ni Lee o mga kauban ni Ini ni Atong Enero 22, 2014. Uman siya illegally detained sa mga respondents sunod sa aligasyon ni Cornejo nga girape kuno siya ni Navarro. Gawa sa grabe nga pagkakulata nila sa aktor, gihulga o gihandlok usab nila kining gamit ang mga armas ni Fuego, sigun sa mga manifestation sa korte. That's all for today mga kasiloy. You can get the full story by visiting our page at cdn.ph or follow us on social media at CDN Digital. You can also check out our weekly newsletter on LinkedIn released every Monday. This has been Morex at Marie Aram. Enjoy the rest of the evening and stay safe mga kasiloys.